history of electric buses in Russia began in 2015, when the country's two main bus manufacturers, Lyaz and Kamaz, began operational tests of pre-production samples of their electric buses. In 2015, an experimental Lyaz electric bus was tested on bus routes in Moscow. In 2016, the first Kamaz electric buses began operating in Moscow on regular city routes. At that time, there was a heated discussion in Russia about the feasibility of using electric buses, because in large cities there was an extensive network of trolleybus lines. Trolleybuses were cheaper both to purchase and to operate. In 2017, the third major Russian manufacturer of large class buses, Volgabus, began testing the electric bus. In 2018, the transport systems company presented it an experimental electric bus. It was called Pioneer. This electric bus had an unusual design. All the batteries were located on a trailer. The idea was that uncoupling a discharge trailer and attaching a charged trailer is much faster than spending 15-20 minutes recharging electric buses at the endpoints of the route. Unfortunately, potential buyers did not appreciate this idea. Also in 2018, Volkabus introduced a new generation of its electric bus. Moreover, this was done at the world's largest exhibition of commercial vehicles in Hanover, Germany. The electric bus was equipped with rechargeable batteries providing a range of 300 kilometers. That is, such an electric bus could work on the route all day without recharging. The hydraulic steering drive was replaced with an electric one. In real operating conditions, the first electric buses often broke down and caused many problems for urban transport companies. However, in Moscow, supporters of electric buses won a victory over supporters of trolleybuses. As a result, the Moscow leadership decided to gradually abandon diesel buses in favor of electric buses. A program was adopted to purchase 300 electric buses per year for Moscow. This amount was divided equally between the Lyaz company and the Kamaz company. Moscow has opted for electric buses with a so-called fast charging system. They have fewer batteries and are therefore cheaper. But the range of such electric buses is also small. They are charged at the endpoints of the route from special charging stations. Therefore, both Kamaz and Lyaz equip their electric buses with lithium titanate batteries. They charge faster and hold a charge better in the cold season. In the fall of 2018, the first electric buses began transporting passengers in Moscow. In January 2019, they transported a million people. In May 2019, Kamaz, or more precisely, its branch in Neftkomsk, produced its 100th electric bus, reaching a production rate of 20 electric buses per month. In December 2019, the 300th electric bus hit the streets of Moscow. Thus, Moscow has become the undisputed leader in Russia in the operation of electric buses. Trolls also hoped to become one of the suppliers of electric buses for Moscow. This is the oldest manufacturer of trolleybuses in Russia. But, firstly, he joined the race late and was late, and secondly, by 2019, Trolls had a difficult financial situation. This was unacceptable for Moscow, because the city entered into a life cycle contract with electric bus suppliers. They must fully service and repair electric buses for 15 years after delivery. That is, from a financial point of view, the position of such a manufacturer must be absolutely stable. In May 2019, another trolleybus manufacturer, Trans Alpha, showed its first electric bus. It was named Sirius. Cruising range, 240 km. That is, the bet is on night charging. In this case, due to the increased number of batteries, the price of the electric bus is higher, but the city does not have to spend money on expensive charging stations at the endpoints of the route. At first, the developers abandoned the imported electric portal drive axle, choosing a separate electric motor. Such a step is reasonable from the point of view of unification with mass-produced trolleybuses. True, a year later this electric bus received an electric portal bridge, the same as everyone else's, that is, supplied by the German company's EF. In 2019, the first 10 serial Volkabus electric buses began transporting passengers in St. Petersburg. BMG, which owns the Volkabus brand, tried to sell its electric buses to several Russian cities where they were tested, but this was not followed by a continuation in the form of contracts. But luck smiled abroad. 
BMG entered into a contract with the French company Blubus and supplied it with 50 vehicle sets in 2020, and in total, as of the beginning of 2022, a total of about 200 vehicle sets for the production of low-floor urban electric buses. The French only completed the electric buses with their own interiors and batteries based on metal lithium polymer. These batteries provide a range of 340 kilometers. Since a significant part of the buses in Moscow belong to a particularly large class, in March 2021, Kamas for the first time demonstrated a prototype of an articulated electric bus, with an overall length of almost 19 meters and a total weight of 28 tons. This electric bus is designed to carry 135 passengers, of which 48 are provided with seats. I would like to note that by this time there were already 400 Kamas electric buses in operation in Moscow. And in May of the same 2021, the transport systems company presented its articulated electric bus. It was called Pioneer Max and had a classic layout for electric buses. Its cabin capacity is 140 people, 38 of whom have seats. Power reserve, 200 kilometers. That is, the calculation is based on using only overnight charging, which takes about 6 hours. Having received large orders from Moscow, Kamaz invested in expanding the production of electric buses at its branch in Neftkomsk. But this was not enough. Having produced 211 electric buses in 2020, in 2021 Kamaz was supposed to supply Moscow with 350. It took over the share of the Liaz company, which, together with the Gaz Group, found itself under American sanctions restrictions that complicated access to imported components. Therefore, in April 2021, assembly production of Kamaz electric buses was launched in Moscow at the Svars plant. Svars has extensive experience in the repair, ray equipment and assembly of trolley buses and trams. In December 2021, the number of electric buses in Moscow exceeded a thousand. Of these, the Liaz brand is two and a half hundred. In the meantime, Liaz set about creating a new generation electric bus in which they tried to take into account the operating experience of the previous model and minimize the number of components from unfriendly countries. Its prototype, called the City Max 12, was presented in September 2021. Instead of lithium titanate batteries, the electric bus received NMC batteries with a capacity of 350 kilowatt hours, thanks to which the range increased to 200 kilometers. That is, it became possible to do without charging stations along the route. But the pantograph on the roof has been preserved, with it you can replenish the batteries in an hour and a half. A special charger will allow you to charge an 85-seater electric bus in two and a half hours, and charging from a regular power supply takes seven hours. Following the E-City Max 12, the Joint Engineering Center of the Gaz Group developed its extended articulated version, the E-City Max 18. It is designed for 140 passengers and has 44 seats. Lithium-ion batteries provide a range of 80 kilometers. In the summer of 2022, E-City Max 18 was transferred to Moscow for trial operation. At the beginning of 2022, Kamaz electric buses were modernized. They received more energy-intensive batteries, due to which the range increased from 50 to 80 kilometers. The air conditioning system and steering were improved, and the heating system was switched from diesel to electricity. In 2022, the Sinara, transport machines holding, known for the manufacture of rail vehicles, decided to join the list of electric bus manufacturers. At the end of 2022, the premiere of the unified trolleybus and electric bus developed by his specialists took place. The Sinara electric bus seats 80 passengers and has a range of 250 kilometers. Interestingly, its design allows for both overnight charging and fast charging at the endpoints of the route. Sinara plans to produce electric buses at a new plant in Chelyabinsk, the official opening of which took place in March 2023. Now this plant is fulfilling an order to supply Chelyabinsk with 168 trolleybuses. Towards the end of the same 2022, the transport systems company introduced the General Electric Bus. It was developed on the basis of the Admiral serial trolleybuses. A special feature of this electric bus is the combined use of three types of charging at once. Slow overnight from a power outlet, dynamic from a pantograph and ultra-fast from charging stations at the endpoints of the route. 
The power reserve, depending on the battery pack, is from 40 to 100 km. The front axle and suspension of the first sample of the General were supplied by the Russian company Rostar. While other manufacturers were demonstrating experienced and promising models of electric buses, Kama showed who the real leader is in the market. In March 2023, he signed a contract with Moscow for the supply of thousands of electric buses by the end of 2024. This is the largest electric bus contract in Europe. The range of these electric buses on a single charge has been increased to 90 kilometers, and the leading ZF electric portal axle has been replaced with an analog from a friendly country. There are no components left in the design of the electric bus from countries that have imposed anti-Russian sanctions. In May of this year, a 16-seater mini electric bus hit the streets of Moscow. This is an electric version of the serial city minibus Gazelle City with air suspension and a low floor in the central part of the cabin. Some of the batteries are located under the casing to the right of the driver, the other part is under the interior floor. The electricity supply should be enough for 150 kilometers. The electric motor is installed separately from the drive axle, which is a serial model here. After a year of trial operation, Moscow will decide to purchase such mini electric buses. In September, Kamaz presented an electric bus, once again subjected to modernization. It received a night charging system and an increased number of batteries, which made it possible to increase the range on a single charge from 80 to 285 kilometers. In October, the transport systems company also presented a modernized electric bus. She produced a second prototype of the General Electric bus, which also had batteries added, increasing the range on a single charge from 50 to 60 kilometers. In addition, instead of the Russian front axle with independent suspension, the electric bus received a Chinese classic axle with dependent suspension. Also in October, the debut of the electric bus of the Ufa tram and trolleybus plant, which had previously been engaged in the production of trolleybuses, took place. His electric bus was called Electric City, charging type, overnight. Depending on the number of batteries located on the roof, this electric bus can travel from 150 to 300 kilometers on one charge. The first specialized fleet for electric buses appeared in Moscow in 2022, and in July the second such electric bus fleet opened in Mytino. Its territory of more than 9 hectares houses 210 charging stations. Not surprising. After all, the number of electric buses in Moscow has exceeded 1,100. There are so many of them in no other city in Europe. By the end of 2024, their number will double. Kamaz alone will produce 508 electric buses at its two factories this year. Therefore, Moscow is already building a third electric bus fleet. St. Petersburg plans to increase the number of electric buses 10 times over the next two years, from 13 to 120. Therefore, they also began to build a special fleet for electric buses, which will open in 2024. What's next? Let me start with the fact that, following Moscow and St. Petersburg, other Russian cities are starting to purchase electric buses, which previously purchased them exclusively for test operation. In October, Kama shipped 21 electric buses to Volgograd, and in November, 10 electric buses to Kursk and 16 electric buses to Perm. In December, 16 Volgabus electric buses with a fast charging system will leave for Krasnodar. Moscow has transformed electric buses from a grey horse that frightens carriers into a mode of transport that is completely understandable from a technical and economic point of view. Therefore, in the next few years the Russian geography of their use should expand significantly. In particular, in the next two years, Lias plans to purchase more than 50 electric buses from Nizhny Novgorod. Well, by the beginning of 2025, Moscow, having received another 1,000 electric Kamaz and 200 Lias, will increase its fleet of electric buses to almost 2,500. And he is not going to stop there. The task has been set to replace all city buses with electric buses, with the exception of gas ones, and there are more than 6,000 of them. And now that we can confidently state that an electric bus industry has been created in Russia, this task is completely solvable taking into account contracts from SD. 
Petersburg and Nizhny Novgorod, Russian electric bus manufacturers have a guaranteed large amount of work over the next few years. There are also production capacities, the necessary competencies, and world-class electric bus models. Thus, in just a few years, Russia managed to create a new modern machine-building industry.